Driver, start your engines! Welcome to Racing with Mason. In this series, you'll see yours truly me, Mason D. On location at the track, off the pace, and in the pack, behind the wheel, over the wall. In every race, I include y'all. You ready? Let's, Let's go! go. Yeah, buddy. The Rockford Speedway in Rockford, Illinois is one of the upper Midwest elite tracks. It was in operation for 75 years and owned by the Deary family since 1966. But when the family matriarch Jody Deary passed away at age 97 in 2022, their kids decided to give it one last season. And that season is quickly coming to a close. Rockford Speedway's last lap season has been a year-long celebration. In fact, the second event of the season was the WXRX 250 Enduro, and I was there in the pits because I'm wanted to make sure I got to at least one Enduro at the Rockford Speedway for their final year. And then I was happier than a squirrel in a loony bin that I was able to go to the famous Goblin 250 Enduro in their final month of the season. It's a Halloween season tradition one final time. Let's go trackside with our Midwest racing correspondent. That'd be yours truly me, Mason D. <laughs> Hey y'all, Racing Mason here at the Rockford Speedway. This is the last lap. Just a few more weekends of racing here, but this is the final Enduro. And uh, because of that, they got over 150 cars out here lined up at uh, uh, ready to take the green flag for the Goblin 250. This has been a, a tradition, Halloween uh, themed tradition at Rockford Speedway for many years. So thrilled to be here. We're gonna be pit crewing on two cars, both the Jurassic Park number JP86 for Nick Clay and the number 03 for Alex Club. These are all the drivers departing the driver meeting, heading to their cars, and uh, uh, we got a we got an in-car camera set up on the 03 car, and uh, we're going to bring you the action today. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. So. so you guys over here in the sin bin, is that it? Penalty so, box. So how, how many laps did you get? I got 13. 13 laps? What are you running? Uh, they didn't like the bumper. Oh, because oh, did you infort, reinforce it? We will say that. Okay. It's there. All right. <laughs> and and what did you get? No third brake light. Oh, yeah. how many Stupid. did they give you for that? One. Is, did you get the worst penalty of them all? Uh, that's what I was told. Yeah. All right. Yep. So let's let's see. Come come on over here and show us this uh, stock bumper on the HHR. It's like they want. Hey, you want to be safe? All you had to do was paint a Chicago Bears thing on there, we make it look like it. a football helmet, yep. and yep. you would have been a crowd favorite. So. Yeah. We uh, we've done this a couple times and never made it because of race issue so we won't have one this time <laughs> oh man this thing looks like it's been through an enduro or two so row eight right here all right they still painting their car on here free what free candy right on gonna be the crowd favorite hey who's gonna ride on the on the roof you gonna ride on the roof i thought it's bad we with us some daredevils right here in the double oh one the extra general lead how about that down here this Nick Club's car, the 86, JP86 Jurassic Park, ain't that real nice? He always makes such nice, pretty cars right there. So, row 26 here for uh, Nick Club in the 86. Here we are, Alex Club and Nick Club right here. Row 29, we got the 03 car. And so there we go. Just look at that, he ain't a scratch on that thing. They might have stole that car. They might have stole it. So, there's a nice, uh, took one, the, they did steal that, that highway. They, they stole the highway. Uh, you steal the highway barrel? Did you? <laughs> that is great. They made it. Uh, I'm Lee Grace of Mason Dixon. Good luck in the race. Beautiful car Thanks. there. there you so, um, but you stole a highway barrel for that. You can return it after the race. They just borrowed They borrowed it. They didn't figure eight school bus races, trailer races, everything. We standing right there on this hallowed ground. So let's be here. Rockford Speedway. We about don't get run over this guy. As you can imagine, there's a huge advantage for starting up front. And the way to start up front is to have the best decorated car for Halloween. Let's get an up close look at some of the favorites hoping for a pole position today. <laughs>
One reason so many drivers have something on their roof is so that their scorer can identify them. Most racetracks use transponders now, so all the scoring is done electronically, but the Rockford Enduros is a blast from the past. Each car has a scorer sitting in the scorer section in the stands. They mark down each lap, and every 10 laps they hold up the car number where an official keeps track of those results. You think it looks stressful driving out there in that mess? Try keeping track of that mess. Sometimes a car is stalled on the track and can't make it back to the pits. The jam trucks are there to push you back to safety. But sometimes the jam trucks can't even get through the traffic. Well, it didn't take long before we got busy in the pits. After about 15 laps, Nick Club got hit, and what we thought was just a flat tire turned out to be a much bigger deal. Hey y'all, looks like we're down to one car in the race, the better looking car, newer looking car, the old 86 Jurassic Park. Uh, he came in and the front was all messed up. The axle was actually popped out. We did a very untraditional repair uh, trying to uh, get the axle back in there. and We did, and it runs and stuff, but uh, that front wheel's going like that, and he, Nick took it out for one lap and said, absolutely not, he can't drive this. But hopefully he will put this in Demolition Derby to end the, uh, I think they call it the smash o lantern instead of a jack o lantern ain't that great? <laughs> The good news was Alex Club was staying out of trouble. need a pit stop until the mandatory halfway break. All right, y'all, here goes Alex. We're going to do the halfway break service. Let's go.
lot of repair continues behind us uh, at the halfway break. They're cutting off bumpers, changing tires, everything. Alex is running real good. Uh, they said he's uh, only a couple laps down, so they think he's running in the uh, top part of the uh, order. So uh, he didn't want to do a long stop, so uh, we didn't even change tires or nothing. Just put in a little bit of fuel, check some air pressure and all that. So uh, you got about 10 minutes for the uh, break. So uh, these guys are uh, uh, doing some doing some work. Man, we missed out so much of that first half of the race because trying to put uh, Nick's 86 back together, but uh, we 86 the 86 car. So uh, uh, we, we back in. Now this second half of the race, real interesting. See, they pour water on the track to make it slippery, take the traction down, and then they cut off the back stretch and they make it, they use part of the figure eights track to make a chicane in there, just like on the Charlotte Roval, where they have to do uh, come off the ro oval and then cut in and out and stuff, so that's what they're doing here at Rockford, so that makes the second half of the race a lot more interesting, harder to drive, and uh, Alex should uh, exceed at that. So. Hey, I'm Ryan Newman, and you're watching Racing with Mason on Power 2 TV. The Rockford Speedway scoreboard is a double-edged sword. You want to see your car number up there to tell you that you're in the top three, and at the same time, the clubs claim that as soon as they put your number up there, it's like painting the bullseye on your back. The cars that aren't in contention sometimes feel the need to take it upon themselves to try to prematurely end your day. Well, that appeared to happen once again. We saw the old three get up to second place on the scoreboard, but Alex got hit and his right rear tire went down. He stayed on the track and drove that car like nobody's business. It was squirrely, but he somehow kept it pointing in the right direction. But then, towards the end of the race, a red flag was thrown for another issue, but an official made him come to the pits to change the tire. Impact three quarter. Let's go.
ready like we needed to be. We should have had the tire, the impact, the socket, and the jack all ready to go. But even after all our mishaps, we still got him out there in just over a minute. Unfortunately, that took him out of contention, and Alex had to settle for a fifth place finish at his final Rockford Enduro. <laughs> Moving up six notches this week is the song that's sweeping the nation. Here it is, Mark Dawson's brand new hit song, The Goblin 250. Well, folks, I usually try to make this show upbeat and fun, but there's just that terrible, awful feeling when a track with so much history is closing up for good. The urban sprawl has swallowed up the entire area, and there ain't going to be another racing season here. I guess to honor the great Rockford Speedway, we'll just quietly fade to black. Wait, what? Nick decided to run his Jurassic Park number 86 in the Special Lantern Demolition Derby? Yeah, buddy, let's get back out to the track. The Rockford fun still ain't done. Now, Nick Club, who got hit early, broke his axle. We actually fixed his axle with a ratchet strap. <laughs> don't, don't ask, all right? <laughs> it's it's un, unconventional repair. But anyway, we were like, hey, you gonna demo derby it, or are you gonna like uh, fix it and use the car again? And he decides he's gonna demo derby it. So right behind us are the cars, getting ready to go out for the smash o lantern you got a demolition derby. This would be a good time, man. I am so excited.
Jason Dixon go Watch the next episode Yeah buddy, let's go racing Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Like this show? Want more? Then head to WatchPTTV.com, the new 100% free PowerTube TV streaming network. Home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web.